Hey, Chris Lipe here with what might be my favorite Michael Jackson song, Beat It. Isolated vocal analysis. This is probably my favorite because it's in one of my favorite movies of all time, Back to the Future, which is where I first heard it. Love the chorus especially. The hook is just incredible, and I still have images of Michael J. Fox running away from Biff and that whole amazing thing. But there's some really neat production aspects in this song that you really, I mean, you can hear in the mix because the mix, the, the original mix is so awesome, but it's fun to hear them in this isolated way because you really get a sense of the placement and attention to detail. So in this video, we're going to go over some of the singing approach. We're also going to go over some of the production and how we can do a little bit of this kind of production uh, with our meager home setups, uh, if we so desire. If you'd like more help with your singing, your production, the best place to start with me is by clicking the link below and joining my free voice course where I take another student through the fundamentals of things like breath support and placement and singing without tension. Once you get that under your belt, you're welcome to participate in any of my other courses as well. Looking forward to working with you more. Okay, let's get into this. They told him, don't you ever come around here. Don't want to see your face, you better disappear. The fire's in their eyes and their words are really clear. So beat it. Just beat it. So notice the way the, the doubles are done here first. Also, there's some awesome reverb, which we'll get into that in a minute. Fires in their eyes and their words are really clear, so beat it. So you can hear that those are panned out just a little bit. Keep note of that. Also, listen to the way he scoops artistically up to the pitch here. I love this. Don't want to see your face. Don't want to see. It's this like, don't want to see. That's really fun to experiment with in your own voice. Because you're you're kind of, I get the picture of this rubber band. You, you get the pitch. Don't. In the, in the posture that you want to get it, in the type of blend. Now, I have a much heavier, lower voice than Michael Jackson, as do most people. If I'm going to sing these notes and have them sound good and not too thick and strained, I need to be using mixed voice. He's in his upper chest. I can't do that. Be very conscious of what your limitations are, what your natural range is. And it doesn't mean that you can't sing this song in the original key, but it may mean it may mean that you need to change how you approach the notes. And this line here Don't wanna see if is a good test. Like, how can you dial in the type of timbre in your voice that's going to help you exist in this range? Don't wanna see. Be thin with it. Don't wanna see. Don't wanna see. Don't wanna and then add in some false chord engagement, a little bit of distortion. I've covered this on a lot of different, uh, lots of different videos on YouTube. But just keep that in mind going through this, that I'm going to sound different. You're going to sound different. Nobody's going to sound like Michael Jackson, one of the greatest vocalists of all time. And he's got a really high voice. But it doesn't mean we can't learn from both a singing, phrasing, and production standpoint. The fire's in their eyes and their words are really clear. So beat it. Just beat it. You better run, you better do what you can. Don't want to see no blood, don't be a macho man. You want to be tough, better do what you can, so beat it. I love that. Oh, <laughs> in the background. And I also like... You better run, you better do what you can. That one's another great line. You better run, you better do what you can. That idea of lightening up on do slowing it down and really feeling that transition. That wasn't head voice. That was a much thinner mix, but I was really able to lean in. You better run. I was really able to lean into that so that the do was okay. If I was, if I wasn't really leaning into the, you better run, then that note wouldn't have meant that higher note wouldn't have meant, or, or it wouldn't have meant as much. And it wouldn't have been able to be placed that way. Cause the whole line would have sounded weak. Michael Jackson does this too. He lightens up sometimes as he goes higher. You want to be tough, better do what you can, so beat it. But you want to be bad, just beat it. Beat it, beat it, beat it. No one wants to beat it, beat it. 
one of the greatest hooks of all time. What I especially like about it is the the just super simple call and answer approach. And then this classic, you know, for years and years and years, till I finally looked up the lyrics, I didn't know what this was. This these words. Fighter, fighter. It's just such vintage Michael Jackson. But when you're just listening to it over and over again, and don't really think about, you know, looking up the words, you don't you don't equate that he's always doing that. Da, da, and that he'd actually put that on the end of the word fight. But it works so well. It doesn't matter who's wrong up right. Just beat it. Beat it. 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 Beat it. Ooh. They're out to get you back. Notice on that last section where the doubling was happening. At the beginning, we had this wide doubling happening where they had the main single lead vocal and then you had other vocals placed out here. But then once we got in here into the chorus, we still had doubling. But you wanna be bad, just beat it. Beat it. Beat it. Beat it. No one wants to beat it, beat it. But you can hear in the panning that they've put the doubling right in the center. And then we have the the double just behind it as opposed to panned out. Really subtle but necessary observation to make as you start layering different vocal parts over different sections with different levels of intensity. Showing hot, funky, strong, just your fighter. It doesn't matter who's wrong up right. Just beat it. Beat it. Just beat it. Beat it. Just beat it, just beat it, beat it, ooh. They're out to get you better, leave while you can. Don't want to be a boy, you want to be a man. You want to stay alive, better do what you can. So beat it, just beat it, ooh. You have to show them that you're really not scared. Okay, notice here. You have to show them that you're really not scared. Doubled, and here. They're out to get you better. I'm not hearing a double. It's brought right behind his lead. So they added a double right behind to, to beef up for this next section, which is really, really cool, really subtle. You'd never really hear that uh, if you weren't listening to the isolated vocals. You have to show them that you're really not scared. You're playing with your life. This ain't no truth or dare. Ooh. They'll kick you, then they beat you, then they'll tell you it's fair. So beat it. Let's talk about his nice lower grit for a minute. So start clean with the line. Just get the pitches. Tell you it's fair. Tell you it's fair. I realize that's not MJ at all. And then we want to start acting like we're going to jam our fist into a wall. But we want to make sure that when we're doing that, that we're not grunting like an oaf. Ugh, no, tell you, no. Instead, we want it to be, uh, uh, uh. Like we're going to punch the wall and push a little bit. Uh, that's a very different sound uh, than, uh. hear the difference? Now, it just so happens that the uh, is much healthier for your voice because it's placed higher in your throat. So if we have this line and we put a little bit of that uh, frustration uh, uh, instead of, uh, we can actually get closer to what he's doing. He's engaging his false chords at a lower area in his voice, which is more difficult than your higher chest. Because naturally, uh, based on survival instinct, when we go higher in our voice, sometimes our false chords automatically start to engage a little bit, even if we haven't trained them. So, listening to this again. They'll tell you it's fair, so beat it. Tell you it's fair. Tell, tell you it's fair. No, tell you it's fair. Tell you it's fair. Yeah, that's closer to what he's doing. Tell you it's fair. It's harder to put out. The other part of it is that he's very staccato. Tell you it's fair. That helps a ton. But realize that when you first start working on this, it's hard to maintain pitch. So it's really good to take these words and tell you it's fair, 
tell you it's fair instead of tell you it's fair and just really feel out that difference. That's going to be key. All right, moving on. But you want to be bad, just be it. Now, notice the incredible rhythmic demonstrated in almost every Michael Jackson song. But the da, da, listen to this. If, if those weren't there, you just wouldn't have the same hook. So awesome. Easily missed when you try to do it yourself. Beat it! Beat it! No one wants to be defeated! Beat it! Beat it! No one wants to be defeated! Beat it! Beat it! Beat it! No one wants to be defeated! Beat it! Beat it! So I grabbed one of those uh, from the double and put it up on the main track because I groove so much better on that one in that section. Eh, vocal comping, right? There's a lot of things that I'm not doing like Michael Jackson, and that's okay. What's fun, though, is to take little things like that, the, uh, uh, practice grooving with those things, and notice them, and see how it feels in your own voice. Clearly, this isn't feeling as natural as it could if I worked on it more. Also, super fun to double this line and then practice putting those harmonies in my own voice as well. Can I get the groove? Can I get the vibe? One thing I also notice as I'm listening back to mine versus his, he's, a, he's more staccato in his singing, which he is and I tend not to be. So that's something that I can work on as well and continue to pick up uh, from him as I'm studying him. Let's move on. So when hot fucking stroke is your factor, it doesn't matter who spoke up right. Just beat it, 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 beat it. Oh, love the and I love this delay. Beat it! Beat it! This is a single delay that sounds like it's been moved around with automation. So you get that spectrum as you're getting the repeats. Beat it! Beat it! Beat it, 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 beat it. And then you can hear on the next section where he does the beat it, the the pan automation happens a slightly different way. Super cool. Beat it, 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 beat it. Kind of going everywhere. The delay repeats, but they don't repeat the exact panning motion and they were doing this on an analog board you know moving pan knobs around so i kind of simulated that with my line drawing just love the improvisation you know you got the hook going and then the slow down you know who's wrong over that, so awesome. Who's wrong? Who's Notice the be defeated. The mixes are slight diff slightly different on those harmonies. You can tell they're automating them up and down to accentuate certain parts and bring different holes in for that improvisation that he's doing. Masterful mixing. Oh no! So, 
so groovy. It's you can't get yourself into this contrived mindset. You almost have to be no one. You have to get in that mindset where you're letting your body get into it as opposed to just try to you know blurt out a it's a, it's a fine line, but one of the ways you're grooving and you can see this in his body language when he performs live. It's his whole it's a whole body performance for him and that shows. And again, that feedback drawn out on that delay and panned around slightly differently every time. Really fun to unpack these and notice things and try things based on what I hear. If you'd like more help with your voice, again, click that link below, my free course. And I hope you enjoy me going through not only the singing, but some of the production aspects and nerding out on some of my favorite songs. If you have other songs that you'd like me to do like this, let me know. This song got done because you guys have been interacting so much with the other Michael Jackson videos I've done and have kept making requests. So I keep doing them. We'll see you for more.